Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So today's video we are going to be talking about chews but more importantly how do you get your hamster to chew? Now it's always recommended to have at least three to four chews in your cage at all time for your hamsters but something that isn't talked about is if you're putting them in their cage yet the hamster isn't chewing on it what do you do? Because obviously you want to make sure that your hamster is maintaining a good teeth length because hamsters teeth are always constantly growing so yes you can put in as many chews in the cage as you want but if you don't see your hamster chewing on it if you don't hear your hamster chewing on it then there's really no point in it you know if you do see your hamster have really long teeth i would even recommend going to the vet but there is ways to actually get your hamster to chew on items and not just put them in there and then forget about them and whatever i have chews in my cage so there are so many different types of chews out there and I'm going to go over some chews of like how to get your hamster to chew on it. Um, again, so many chews out there. You can pick from thousands of them, but I'm going to be talking about ways to actually get them to chew on it. So number one, the most like popular chews are probably wood sticks now or the apple sticks and usually actually hamsters do enjoy these. They do actually usually chew on them. Um, but they usually get like lost in it, but um, I would try these because they're apple chews. So like I think that they have some sort of scent or smell on them. Um, not actually, but like, you know what I mean? Um, the next thing is wooden chews. Um, these are definitely the most popular. Um, I feel like we always end up with a bunch of these. The pet stores sell them a bunch. Um, and personally, I have never had that much luck. This one has a little bit of chew marks on it, but I've never had that much luck with my hamsters ever chewing on these. I've never seen them ever chew on it. Um, but what you can do to get your hamster to chew on them because your hamster isn't just going to chew on this. I've never really seen my hamsters ever chew on this, um, but there is a way to get them to actually chew on these. So I used to do this with my first hamster, then I kind of stopped doing it because I found a different way. But what you do is you want to take one that is kind of flat in a area, like this one has a flat right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to take peanut butter, you're going to take the littlest, tiniest bit that you can, and you're going to spread that on here. And you're going to keep on just scraping it back and forth until there's no like glob of it. You don't want an actual like, you don't want them just licking it off. You want it to just kind of smell like peanut butter, and then they will chew on it. Um, and this did get Avery, my first hamster, to chew on um, these when I spread peanut butter. Another popular chew um, that I wouldn't actually say does anything for their teeth um but this is something that hamsters do chew on um it's like a i don't know i'll just pop it up on the screen i think it starts with an l or something i don't know what it's actually called but hamsters do chew on these again i'm not sure if this really does anything for their teeth but it is a popular chew and my hamsters and my mice have chewed on it a next one that i don't have and i haven't had in a very long time because again we'll get to the popular big ones that I would really really recommend um but is those cheese chews okay when I was trying to find the screenshot they were impossible to find so I don't think they existed anymore they could but I don't think so I will pop it up on the screen Avery absolutely loved 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 these and they were a hard texture and she would chew on the whole entire thing she would finish it um completely now, um, personally, I don't know how healthy these are. I don't know if they are, like, top tier, safe, or whatever. Um, I would say that they are probably safe, but I'm not sure how healthy they are. So, you know, if your hamster is dire need of chewing, that might be an option. And they are kind of cheap. I think it come, it's like $2 for two of them or whatever. All right, next, for some reason, I could not find one. And I know that I have a huge pack of them, but I can't find them. But is Willow Balls. Um, now, this is kind of like with the these. They're not like going to help your hamster's teeth, but your hamster might chew on them. Um, you can put food inside of them and then they'll try and chew it open. Um, I've had most of my hamsters absolutely destroy them when they go to chew on it. Here, I found a willow chew. So basically, you can just fill this up with like mealworms, um, sunflower seeds, whatever you like to put in your hamster's 
treats or whatever their food um and they will absolutely destroy these again not sure how much these will help your hamster's teeth um but it is something for them to chew on all right also adding in lab blocks to your hamster's diet now obviously this is helping them in other ways but it is them chewing on something and they actually have to like nibble down on it so that can actually help their hamster your hamster's teeth all right going kind of with the um willow ball type of uh stance is these things now these always come in like those big sets i feel like it comes with this they're they're very like you don't really want to get them because they don't really do anything honestly um but i have one of these and again haven't really had any luck with like hamsters actually chewing on it but this is a way to get your hamster to chew if you do what i said about like with the willow ball if you put in like treats or whatever you probably want to put in some bedding and then put the treats in and they might nibble on it to get the actual food out and that way it is helping your hamster chew the bell is so annoying right and the last and the most important and i think everyone mostly probably knows about this and it is whimsies now whimsies are super super popular in the hamster community because they are the best probably chew to get your hamster they are not wood so your hamster is actually ingesting something while they are chewing on it and it then gets your hamster to actually chew on it so there are so many different types of whimsies that you can get i would recommend not getting any with like the white stuff on it i will pop up pictures um i would just recommend getting either like the alligators the little toothbrush things um personally every single hamster that i've ever heard of likes whimsies um i did have a few hamsters where they wouldn't actually finish the whole entire thing but they are really good for hamsters because it's the best way to get your hamster to chew on stuff all right so that is the video um i will say my top two ways that i feel like the best way to get your hamster to actually chew is either spreading peanut butter on the chew or getting whimsy chews because whimsy chews is definitely the one thing that i recommend to every single owner if they ever talk about um needing another chew all right, so that is the video i hope it helped one person out there if you guys have any more questions about this topic leave them down below and i will talk to you guys about it um but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys all in my next video bye guys